got Goofy. And Miss Daisy. Yay! <laughs> we found Minnie. <laughs> and there's Goof. Goofy, yay. <laughs> Good morning. I'm at Disneyland today. Today is October 16th, 2023, and it is Disney's 100th birthday. Amazing. 100 years. I was talking to a lady down on Main Street. She had mentioned that Paris had 100 characters representing the 100 years down on Main Street in Paris Disneyland. Here we have our characters uh, out in their Halloween costumes. There's a cavalcade at 145 and another one at 245 with the characters, but again, they'll be in their Halloween costumes. But I'm coming in just to enjoy the day, see where the day takes me. What should we do? I don't know. Let's see. The Columbia is rolling in. That is the ship of choice today. because the Mark Twain is down for refurb. No better time to do it than now. That's the boat that they use for Phantasmic, but that's down for a few more months due to the accident that happened. I believe it was back in April, April or May, with Maleficent's Dragon. Wow, I wonder if you have to be a pirate to ride this. Oh, that's good to know. It's the first ship to carry the stars and stripes around the world. She first set sail from Boston Harbor, going all the way around the Horn and sailing onward to the Pacific Northwest, Hawaii, and China. In the three years it took us to make that journey, the Columbia was more than just a ship to us. She was our life and our home. Old Midships is the main hatchway leading below decks, where you may see how we live and work on the high seas. The galley, the captain and crew's quarters are open for your inspection. Scattered around the world, scattered around the world. This year he's decided to play Sandy Claus, but when Halloween creates Christmas, you might see a few flaws.
This year he has decided to play Sandy Claus. But Halloween creates Christmas. the trails of powdered sugar. I must be near the beignets at some point here. Six six one three please. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Just joining us, welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. To ensure a safe ride, stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your kids. Other beloved critters on fun-filled adventures where anything can happen. As we steam past Hungry Bear Restaurant, the last outpost in these parts, we're now joining up with the rivers of America and entering the frontier as it looked more than a century and a half ago. This is my favorite part of the journey. Around every bend, there's natural beauty as far as the eye can see. like you have been riding these rails since the 1800s, traveling through nature's wonderland in a matter of days, rather than the months it used to take by mule or horse.
Some of those dreams, and the stories that went with them, were pretty darn wild and downright unbelievable. Like on Big Thunder Mountain, where I hear that mysterious spirits have grabbed hold of those mining trains and turned them into the wildest ride in the wilderness. This tunnel signals our transition from the frontier to another kind of ear. The ones you'll find on Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Our next stop is Toontown Depot, official train station for Mickey's Toontown, a cartoon home where Mickey, Minnie, and all their friends live. Toontown Depot is also the gateway to Fantasyland. As we leave Toontown Depot, we get a real nice view of the happiest land of them all, Fantasyland. You can see people stepping onto It's a Small World just below us. And, off in the distance, majestic Matterhorn Mountain. We're now steaming forward into the future, to a land inspired by visions of tomorrow, both practical and imagined. Here you'll find rocket ships and star speeders, submarines and astro blasters, and, if you look overhead, maybe a glimpse of a Mark 7 monorail. This is the latest version of the first daily operating monorail system in the entire Western Hemisphere, gliding above Disneyland since 1959. a nice trip on the train. I got up in Tomorrowland. And I'm going to eat my beignets now. They're still warm. I can feel it through their bag. This is like heaven up there. I got it set at three. You have a choice of three or six. I'll probably only eat one. Pam doesn't care for them. She only likes the ones that are pumpkin. And uh, for some reason, they don't have those this year. A little hollow on the inside. If you like them a little thicker, a little more bready, you have to get those in downtown Disney at the Jazz Kitchen. They're still good though. Mm. I got a bottle of water, but I think a cup of hot chocolate or a cup of coffee would have been great. Good treat. On my way up to the member lounge. I like the blue color in here. I think that's kind of cool. If you're if you're a part of the Disney Rewards Club with the Disney Visa, you can come here between two and six and get a picture with Darth Vader. That's a member exclusive. You only have to have the Visa credit card to get that. You see the stars? Here's the artwork that you can find inside the new tower of the Disney Villas. You know there's gonna be a line for soda. Well, we were just there last week. That's the pool I put my feet in. And that's the pool we swam in. And that's the Mickey tugboat that we took pictures in front of. It's almost exact. <laughs> when you come out on the second level, this is your view couple people out here having lunch just gonna grab a seat do some people watching got myself a beverage 
Who remembers when that used to be the people mover? Has some construction going on on Space Mountain. It is closed for refurb. I saw that. You can see some cast members up there working. Well, I can see cast members up there working. And there you have the majestic Matterhorn. And then off to my right, you have the monorail. And I can hear the sounds of Autopia. I was gonna ride Autopia today, but it was a little busy. The park's not busy busy, but some of the ride lines are a little longer than expected. Well, that was quite the day at the park. Uh, it's 12 o'clock now. Pam's off at 1 o'clock. We have tickets to the Cowboys Chargers game tonight at SoFi Stadium. So, we're off.
like the singing of the national anthem performed by recording artist and breast cancer survivor Tarsha Rogers.
Cowboy fans are loud. 